The central message in this book is that Africa is able to feed itself in one generation. And the reason we wrote the book is because the continent is currently characterized by famines and food aid. Uh, and as a consequence, uh, it is seen as a continent that is not able to feed itself. But the basis for optimism is threefold. The first uh, is that Africa has access to a vast fund of scientific and technical knowledge that is available today that it can harness and put to agricultural use. And some of this is being done. Uh, for example, the deployment of mobile technology, mobile telephones, uh, which are starting to serve as extension services, but also as a way of communicating information on markets. Africa is also starting to adopt and use the benefits of genetic modification, uh, particularly in crops like cotton and maize. And there's now ongoing research uh, on extending that to drought-tolerant crops. So the first area is the area of access to scientific and technical knowledge. The second area is uh, the growing uh, commitment of African leaders uh, to investment in infrastructure. This is particularly critical. It's also connected to the expansion of regional trade, where African countries are starting to expand road networks, railways, airports, and others to be able to trade among themselves. And one of the first areas they're focusing on is, in fact, agricultural uh, crops being able to feed themselves within the region. But they are also visualizing themselves as becoming exporters of agricultural produce. In fact, many of them are starting to focus on how to export uh, agricultural produce to the Middle East uh, and Asia. And the third reason for optimism is the emergence of a number of African leaders that are focused particularly uh, on managing the economy and driving the continent forward through economic transformation. This is being done essentially through initial investment in agriculture. We have examples of leaders like President Kagame of Rwanda, the President of Malawi, and several others uh, who are working together currently to focus on agriculture as a basis for economic transformation. And the main, cent the main message, the main recommendation we have for the book, for this mission to be implemented, uh, is essentially a stronger emphasis on investment in research, training, and building up of technical capacity, especially of women who are the majority of farmers in Africa. So that's really what the book is about.